last time you guys saw, I unboxed or showed you guys an Orion Eon 115 millimeter uh, apochromatic refractor. Um, and again, I'm gonna say it again. I think most people, I would say 90% of people, you should go up to a five inch or maybe 5.1 inch uh, refractor. After that, they become huge and not really portable. Um, in this size, you can see the planets, uh, double stars, you can see some clusters, you know, some deep sky objects, but after the five, it becomes big and heavy. That's where I recommend it. And it doesn't matter if it, we're talking about an apochromatic or an achromat, up to five inches where I think most people should be. Now, I just wanted to show you guys, it is clear today, it's daytime, it, it's evening, like at a, about 5.30 to 6 p.m. maximum. Um, so you can see, I'm just looking at the moon. And this time I wanna show you guys through, um, through the eyepiece with a camera adapter and my iPhone. Now this is like the basic way how to do imaging, astrophotography, like the level one. Um, you can do it, but there's so much fiddling around with, um, here, let me show you guys. Hey guys, so just wanted to say that yesterday the uh, Eon is 15 pounds. I know I'm using it on a CG4, which is which is rated for 15 pounds. So it's not rock solid, my few videos and stuff, but I, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't really do imaging. I know for imaging, maybe something like the Eon 15 pounds should be on an EQ6. I have an EQ6 too, but really I'm not that uh, picky about stuff like that. So just letting you guys know. I know it's not rock solid, but I really don't do imaging overall that much. So it was just a quick look and stuff like that. So I understand that. Okay, so here's the Eon 115 millimeter, four and a half inch refractor. And as you can see, it's the moon. However, it's in the day. So as you can see, it's a very bright sunny day. And I'm not sure if I could even capture the moon. There it is. Right there. Like this. Anyway, so there's the moon. This is only a 32 millimeter IP, so it's not really that big, but um, I don't see no fringing or anything on there. Let's see if I can lower it a little bit more. Okay, there's the moon. It's a blue sky, so obviously doesn't have as much contrast as um, in a black sky but it's actually nice to look at a moon in a in a bright sky anyway there's just so much fiddling around with the camera adapter you put your uh, iPhone here and then getting it up and it's just it's not the greatest if you really want to do astrophotography imaging um, I used to use an SLR camera in the 90s and then that way you can put it into where the eyepiece is and your focus is much more better than trying to get your uh, camera to the eyepiece your camera lens is very small just a couple millimeters wide and the exit pupil of the eyepiece or the beam coming out is also very small to get those aligned it just it's sometimes more headaches uh, it can be done but you're always fooling around and tweaking all the time just to get a decent semi okay shot it'll never be perfect but i guess it's better than nothing but uh, anyway guys i'll talk to you guys after i think you know i'll wait a few hours let this guy really cool down and uh, we'll take a look at the moon in the night just because in the daytime it's 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 uh it's nice but the contrast is a lot less because it's so bright the sky now if you do it in the night where it's black sky you can really zoom in and get closer the contrast is higher but uh that's okay it's good to do both i'll see you guys after Hey guys, it's actually nighttime now, and as you can see by the moon, um, 
I only get about 20 minutes before it goes behind the building, maybe 30. So let's get this going in the nighttime. Okay, and I got my curtains open right now. So, um, basically you can see me a little bit better in the dark. Actually, let me angle the camera further that way. And I wanna look at the moon more. I don't have a finder scope uh, on this guy. There we go, already found it. So, I want to take a look at it while now there's holy cow lots of craters yep i'm gonna push this guy really high i want to talk to you guys and tell you what i see um let me see i'm just gonna get a bigger eyepiece now let's go to an eight radian. Get my red flashlight. Uh, oops, forgot the adapter. Inch and a quarter adapter that is. So now in the daytime, as you saw this time I did the video view of the moon. Uh, I just want to push the power and see how I can see it so I can explain it to you guys. And then I will try to put the camera adapter to it and show you guys as well. Because it's only a four day old moon, I could actually see, um, you know, the dark side. You could actually see the circle of it. Um, do you know what I'm thinking? I'll go, I'm gonna get the drives. Okay, let me focus. There we go. And let me see if I can bring that back. There, what do you guys think of that? That's a nice shot right there. Let's see if I can just scroll over a little to these mountain ranges. And I'll push it up a little. What do you think, guys? Slightest, this is why you kind of need slow motion controls. If you don't, slightest touch is just going to okay, I'm gonna let go of it. There he goes, a nice shot there. Anyway, that looks pretty good. Anyway, guys. Okay guys, I am going to focus on our Taurus right now. It is up, which is in the constellation uh, Boots, or Boots, depending how you pronounce it. And just wanna see how it looks. And I'm gonna blow it up and see, it. you know, it's a fairly bright star. I just wanna see how the color fringing, I'm gonna go really high on it now. Okay, I'm gonna do in and out of focus. Focus, that was out. Yeah, both look nice and crisp, clear. Yeah, that looks like a nice, perfect star. Yeah, I don't see any color fringing or anything. It looks 
pure white in out of focus seems symmetrical. I don't see any color. So nice and sharp at focus. Okay. Okay guys, so there's a test for the Orion there. So again, we did a little bit in the daytime when the moon was out uh, in a nice blue sky. And uh, now I want to see the clarity. I mean, it's nice to see the moon in the blue sky, but in the night is when you can see, you can go really close and get really close to those craters and valleys and things like that. So that's, I think, even better in the nighttime. Anyway, that's gonna conclude here. This is what this guy is. Very good scope. If you guys are looking for something like that, four and a half inch triplet, apple chromatic, get it. Nothing bad to say. It's not so cheap, so for the brand new people, if, you, if you're starting out, this is probably not your first scope. This is probably like where, uh, you know, you had something smaller and you want to just get that crisp detail out of it. That's probably your second or third scope type of thing. Um, but anyway, Orion, four and a half inch. 115 millimeter apple chromatic this is joe jaguar see you on the next video like comment and subscribe